Hey there guys, this is Shane and we're back in the think tank over here in Fallout New Vegas. What I wouldn't give to be able to pick up Radio New Vegas. Mm, those cats can really play. <laughs> you might be wondering why we're back in the sink here. Well, after I got done in... Which facility was it? X-13? Yep. I travel back here after killing some more scorpions in the entrance and running away from a few more outside. Oh! And uh, we ended up just doing some exploring. Now, I did record all this, but I wasn't very happy with it overall. So, um, I can explain to you what I did. I went walking around a bit. Um, I came down here at some point to Ulysses Point, and I went to Higgs Village and explored that quite a decent amount. I also walked past the waste disintegration platform and the loading station up here. Um, but I ended up playing for about an hour and a half without really doing anything, and then I did about 20 minutes of talking to the doctors in the think tank. So, I think today we're going to go down to the X2 transmitter. Um, and I just need to drop a few things here because I'm carrying so much stuff at the moment. Now, at the moment, one of the problems I'm having is I've got so much, like, weaponry. But I've got no ammo for any of it at the moment. A lot of the fighting I was doing I was going up against enemies that just weren't taking much damage. And I unfortunately couldn't fight them very well. So, I'm going to pick up a few things here and trade out a few things in hopes of having a better time with fighting. I've been sort of low as well on various supplies like stim packs. I just can't seem to get enough of them at the moment. Might I be of service? Yeah, I'll just show you real quick. I don't think he's got anything for me at the moment. Um, he's got a little bit of 44 ammo and a little bit of 357. And he's selling like a lot of stuff like rockets and missiles, but I just don't have anything for those. He's um not got any weapons for me like that. And I've still not come across a rocket launcher or a missile launcher, so Oh yeah, I do did forget to mention I do have a couple of the new personalities for the other things inside the sink. There is the jukebox, which was speaking earlier, and we've got the book um, shoot over there, back in this room. Now, I do have the footage from the recordings I did, but like I said, I wasn't happy with it, but um, I can upload some of it, potentially, but um, I don't know how much of it I'm going to add to this video. So, let's head off to X2 which is straight ahead of us, and hopefully we'll find some more ammo along the way. I did end up fighting a bunch of, like, robots and lobotomites. I just can't kill things fast enough in this area. It doesn't seem to matter how high of a level I'm getting to. I can't seem to put out enough damage to fight them off. Maybe we need to be using more drugs or something, I don't know. But as it stands right now, you can see <laughs> the previous battles around here. Obviously, I was using the laser pistol around this area to kill some of these lobotomites. Um, back up that way, there's a load of dead, like, harness uh, skeleton guys and stuff like that. It's been hellish. And it's only going to get worse when we're going to X2, I think, because we're going to run into a bunch of more Robo Scorpions. As fun as the yard, they are a pain in the ass to fight. At least for right now. I find it interesting that they keep putting mines all along the pipes and stuff. There's a suitcase actually over there. I don't think I can climb up there without going to an end area. It's kind of interesting though, there's stuff up there. I might actually go up there though. I'm kind of curious about that suitcase.
I think this is where the fatigue of playing on a harder mode on a Fallout game sets in, though. Playing, um, like, fighting enemies sometimes they just don't go down at all. And I can see why people resort to doing, like, unarmed builds and stuff for the characters. I wonder what's up there. That might be something to search once we leave X2. Oh, it wasn't a suitcase, it was toolbox. But there's nothing in it for us. Just scrap electronics. I did pick up a load of um, frag mines. I was going to use them against the Robo Scorpions. But I've not really had the opportunity yet to uh, do so. There's something over there. Might be worth checking. The one in harnesses is down there. Duffel bag. It's got a cup in it. Come on. There's two harness skeletons. Was it free? No, there's two. That's the Higgs facility, or the Higgs village thing. I'm gonna climb down. I wanna check up here real quick. The second duffel bag with this coffee cup in it. There's a lot of Mentats laying around. Night nice Stalker Egg. Skeletons. Ashtray. I was kind of hoping it'd be some ammo there or something. Oh, it looks like one of our skeleton friends saw me. He's coming along over here. I was coming over to investigate at least. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. Let's put on some armor first. Oh, he's got an incinerator. Or a flamethrower. Sorry, Mr. Trauma Harness. I like you guys, because at least you actually die when I shoot you. <laughs> Ooh. Incinerator and flame fuel. I thought you had a flamer, not an incinerator. We can make our incinerator better, though. This one's kind of still stood out over here. He's got a laser pistol. Oh, he's not got his helmet on. What's he thinking? I'm sorry, Mr. Skeleton. You should wear your helmet. Laser pistol to repair ours. A few more energy cells. I'm gonna check out his footlocker over here as well. There's also another duffel bag. It's got three missiles in it. We still not got a missile launcher though. There's gotta be one around here somewhere. Thought I heard something. 
Yeah, it's got to be one somewhere, because I keep, like, finding missiles, so... So that's the perimeter. Kind of odd that they just have a couple of skeletons in the corner over here. Right, let's go inside X2. And hopefully, we won't have a bad time. The question is, what am I going to be fighting in here? I don't know why I've still got that. That's got no ammo in it. I could do with repairing my salt car mine. There's, there's a lot of weapons I could do with repairing. But I've not really got enough caps to be repairing a lot of these things. Climb up to the satellite dish and retrieve X2 antenna. Oh, we got some protectatrons. Close the door. Law abiding citizens, please leave the area. All clear. That was weird. It went friendly for a second there on my compass. Actually, I should try out my new Sonic emitter. The um, jukebox gave me an upgrade. For the Sonic emitter. So, let's try this out. Do not attempt to apprehend. Please clear the area until order. Well, it seems better. this other one please step into the open and identify yourself there's all the way up at the top citizens have nothing to fear drink some water ah, it's very Stand radioactive though hostiles. we'll be fine this area clear proceeding with search protocol still searching for me while I'm drinking all the water downstairs some vending machines here as well. Hostile target identified. Put down your weapon and submit to authority. It is a lot better, this version of um, the Sonic Emitter, I feel like. Alright, let's have a quick investigate here what's around here. There is a uh, sync project light switch zero one. Even the light switch has got a personality. I'm hoping for like a, just a big massive pile of caps or something. Because there's so much I want to be spending my money on. But I just can't at the moment. Forceps. <laughs> Ooh, 44 Magnum ammo. I've needed that for a while. A lot of drained cells. Not useful to me at the moment. Right, let's go upstairs. Oh, that's part of that. It didn't look like it. Uh, there's some jet in there. Still not a whole lot for me to find at the moment. Hmm. 
that was worth doing. Hopefully I didn't do it wrong this time. Um, last time off screen, I did um, something similar and I ended up converting all of my ammo into an ammo I couldn't use by accident. <laughs> it was uh, pretty bad. Called ladder. I guess that's where I have to. What we're we using to get up top. Oh man, finally find some ammo. Another pulse grade. In this room. That's an upstairs door. So it, can I go up this ladder? Satellite dish ladder. So I want to know what's out here first. If anything, you know. And it looks like we just got a balcony up here. Although there is a. Ah, there is look another way up here. Besides the front door. Some more energy cells, scrap electronics. That's why I think about your scrap electronics. So I don't think there's anything else there. I guess we'll walk out that way, just for something different. Because we want to go that way anyway, because I was kind of curious about something I saw in the distance over that direction. Let's head upstairs. Now we're in the dish. More scrap electronics. Ooh. Almost walked off the side of there. Ah, trying to steal the H2 transmitter array antenna, are you? You won't succeed. Not if my lethal robo scorpions have any say in the matter. Here come the robo scorpions. The schematics for the X2 antenna have been uploaded to the think tank. It's weird, he keeps giving me that quest marking. What? Yeah, I keep getting that quest marking challenge thing appear like all the time on my screen. Whenever I complete a quest, and it does one out of five or two out of five, and then it resets. I guess I need to be doing more quests in a like a play session or something. Oh yep, yeah. look at all the rubber scorpions below. Those are some big ones down there. That one's running fast. So with him. Maybe we should have left the skeleton guys alive so they could fight him. <laughs> right, we're overweight, so... <laughs> I can use the antenna as a weapon. That's kind of funny. Let's see. I'm carrying so much stuff. I probably should eat, actually. I've been eating for a little while. Eat something that's weighty. Gecko meat. That'll bring down my strength if I eat that. Could eat that, though. Gecko's sake. Why do these apples weigh so much? <laughs> So, Robo Scorpion.
I don't think I want to get involved with that one downstairs. I... You sure you scanned something? Because if he runs up here, it's not going to be too fun for me. I do have some more mines, though. Could I put down a frag mine or two on the stairs? Are you sure you scanned something? The eye of Mobius sees you! Bring your eye of Mobius up here. I see you. Now I end you. <laughs> Wait, was that the oh that was the corpse of you? Freaking Robo Scorpions. Where's the silver one? Oh, it's down there. Still scanning. Robo Scorpion attack. Yeah, this one seems to EMP them pretty well, which is good. What is annoying though is, um, do you see how he just suddenly moved from there to there, like he teleported because he like got stuck in that position. There's been a lot of that happening for me on this game. I've had a few issues actually lately with this game, doing stuff like that, or um, real low frame rates for no reason. I'm kind of hoping it's something that sorts itself out, but... It's kind of annoying at the same time. Uh, let's go out through the door here. There's going to be a rogue scorpion on the balcony here, though. Come and get me. Oh, he had a lot of energy cells. Look at them all down there. <laughs> Gonna push your rower scorpion brethren off the side here. I can't shoot them from all the way up here. Not with the Sonic Emitter, at least. Could shoot him with a 44 trail rifle. I'm a little bit over encumbered, but. Some of the hitboxes are kind of janky in certain areas. It's kind of annoying. This is where I wish I had a missile launcher. Stood up here, just fire some missiles down on the scorpions. I can't really tell if I'm doing anything to him. Right.
There we go, we can move again. <laughs> I can't fast travel because there's enemies nearby. So it's gonna not let me. <laughs> it's gonna hold that one there. Leaning like sort of sideways. Keep going this way. Maybe they won't follow me, maybe they will. I've had to run away from so many Robo Scorpions though. Kind of sucks. This is that spot I saw as well. It's like a crash site or something? Or something that's blown up. The cuckoo's nest. Do I want to find out what the cuckoo is? There's a grave here. There's a lot of trash here. There's some extra food in there. Some more drained cells. I mean, drained stuff doesn't take away weight, so... I guess let's see what's inside the graves. You need a shovel to dig here. Oh, here we go. More about mites and their caravan shotguns. That he can shoot me from a distance perfectly good. Oh great, there's more. What's this one doing? Am I really gonna die because of this glitch? I'm getting this VAT glitch a little bit too often now. I'm not sure what's causing it, but it's um Getting kind of annoying when it happens. Especially when it, I can take damage all the way through it all. All the way through all the vats. It's kind of, um. Not very nice. Finally, some combat armor. So that was one good thing we came across. Let's go repair our combat armor again. Those massive cannons. Flower here. There's a couple more things up here as well. Is that a cave we can enter? Enter the cuckoo's nest. Hmm. I might not do that right now. I may do that another time. Just because we need to get this antenna back to the think tank. So, let's do that. We'll just fast travel over there. <laughs> I was expecting Robo Scorpions to be there when I spawned in. Right. Into the think tank. Let's talk to Dr. Klein, it looks like. Did you retrieve the technologies yet? We need them, as I have indicated. I've recovered all the technological information. What? You did? Your survival, let alone success, barely registered in my projections. Now, all I need to do is check my transmission data bank. Mobius is always filling it up with his psychotic calls. Oh yes, there's the schematics, just like you said. How truthful. Do these technologies have the information you need? Yes. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. 
Yes, yes, um, hmm. Yes, what? Your answer isn't filling me with confidence. No, I mean yes. You just need to analyze these technologies for a moment. They are extremely advanced, you know? Do you even know what these technologies do? I know how these technologies work. Of course I know. If you remember, we described them in clearly abstract, contradictory statements before. Why would we do that if we weren't certain on... on how to use them? Yes, so let me... Hmm, a bit, huh? I'll figure it out. Ooh. Look at all these options it could have. Devices all seem very scientific. Very. The antenna looks like it could break things beyond repair. Maybe it could break in? So I don't have more of a repair skill. Sneak? I've never seen a sneak skill like speech check before. Or a lockpick one. I think the X13 sneak suit can slip in and get to Mobius. Maybe a frequency in sonic emitters, a sonic key of sorts, like an electronic lockpick. Its range is limited, and it would need a booster of some sort, a carrier, but let me check something. Of course, I have it. The override sequence to open the Forbidden Zone door is hidden in the schematics. Well, not hidden. It's actually right there, behind the programming equivalent of coffee stains. It's embedded in what seems to be recursive code. It's badly commented there and there. Oh, and all pointers very sloppy, Mobius. You see, using the antenna to boost the emitter's sonic frequency and the stealth suit to bypass the Forbidden Zone lock, yes, that could work. Was that my plan? It must have been. Sometimes I truly surprise myself. The door is open, and now Mobius will get his. Oh man, look at that. even more options I can't quite do. These med these technologies seem more useful medically somehow. Whatever. The only medicine Mobius will need is a resuscitator after we, uh, you, break in there. That's actually not a conclusion I would have drawn. Whatever, I'm after results. <laughs> So I go after him then. The door should be unsealed. Now, instead of being subjected to threats, we can now send an equally threatening message to Mobius. And that message is science. Deliver this message, and Big Mountain shall be freed from Mobius's reign of terror. Um, you can go now. That's your cue. I see. Well, I guess maybe I will. What are you doing back? Morbius's threats persist. Worse, he's filling up our transmission storage holotape to capacity. <laughs> well then. I'm going to go back into the sink and drop off um, some stuff again. We did get that light switch personality tape, so... Let's go and attach that to the light switch. If you can find him. Can't remember where he is. Is this him? Light switch one. Oh my! Partial functionality restored. That's less than optimal. What function do you serve? Dr. Mobius and I were deeply involved in research on the ability of light levels to enhance human cognition. And what were the results? We observed a fascinating phenomenon. Certain spectra of visible light actually increased cognitive function and reasoning ability. <laughs> of course, Dr. Mobius's brain is so big already, we had a hard time measuring it. Can you turn those lights on for me? As much as I'd love to, I'm afraid not. The data from that study has gone missing. You'll have to find a backup if you want to use the smart lights. Smart lights. 
I have to go, we'll talk later. Certainly. I'm looking forward to it. It's not like I haven't tried to get along with her. Lord knows I have. She's just such a floozy. Floozy. Well, guys, that's going to do it for now. Um, so, we're going to just call it an episode here. And we'll do something else next time. I don't know what we'll do. Maybe we'll go searching for most of the personalities. Or maybe we'll check out an area like down here. Or up here or something. There's still all this over here as well. There's quite a few places we can still go to. By the way, guys, that'll do it for now. So, thank you for watching this episode, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time for when we come back to Fallout New Vegas.